What's up guys, Shepard Cousin 2 here again with, sorry about the little thing there Chris, where yeah. I press record and it didn't yeah. even realise. He's fucking pedo. Um, He's pedo bear. This one we're going to do Skyrim uh, tips again, um, because uh, we might do a series of different games. Sorry, I'm going now. For different games like we said. So uh, you're going to do your tips first. Yeah, I've only got two more for Skyrim. But you'll well, think of some offering. These two are for because you if you because you always sneak because they're epic August. sneaking. They are yeah, really epic. Yes, the lot of the feet the cats. Yeah. And then uh, if you if you are casual still, yeah, always use one-handed because they're one? better at defense. Yeah. So use one-handed and one shield, or use two, or use two knives. Uh, any more? No, not for me. Oh, hold that. Um, Let them see me as a pizza boy. Basically, I'm a pizza boy. <laughs> um, if you can, if you're any good at, oh, try and get your blacksmithing up. Oh yeah, that's a good point. The best thing to do is craft iron daggers. Just get a crap load of supplies from the blacksmith. Oh yeah, if you're to be a good. Uh, blacksmiths choose red guard because they they start at like they can, they can get the basic ones but they can get loads of weapons and they can fully up they can fully upgrade them. Stick. So if you one choose red guard for like getting your smithing up because you start at like level 15. And also the easiest way to do it, it this is what everybody does buy the supplies from the blacksmiths like I said and just constantly craft iron daggers. It might take uh, ages to get to 100 blacksmith in, but considering the ro reward for 100 blacksmith in is dragon armor, I'm pretty sure it's worth it. Oh yeah, if you are like, if you're like really bored of like being good, uh, if if you want to get loads of money, wait at White Run, wait until it's night, obviously, and uh, wait near the blacksmiths. There's iron steel ingots. Yeah, grab them. Yeah, make sure you've got iron and steel armor. Yeah, non stolen because you can't sell stolen items. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and what you do, you, you eventually you craft in, you wait until the morning. Yeah, then you uh, craft if you've got like some armor, what you don't want. Yeah, or like sword or weapons, get, get them and put the. Mm, Upgrade them, then sell them. Yeah, it's the best thing to do. Because then you can get like, if you got good bargaining skills or whatever you call it, speech. speech yeah, you can get double your money back. Oh yeah, yeah. It's fucking sick, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, I did it. I did it with this casual trader. And you actually can still sell stuff. You can actually sell stolen goods from the thieves in, in the thieves guild. This fence is like on Oblivion, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Um, just like go go in raiding houses, and then you can sell what you want to even items that aren't stolen. You can still sell them to um, fences in the Thieves Guild in the flagged tavern. Is it? I didn't know that. Rag yeah. flagging. Sorry. Yeah. 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 You can do uh, loads like that. Um, I'll sell them to any normal traders. No, you can just sell them to them. You can sell whatever you want to them. It's quite good. That's how I earn loads of money. I earned like 400 gold just from selling like a couple of rings last night. <laughs> it was mint. Um, oh, yeah. For very, very easy money. Well, it's not very, very, but it's like very quick. If you're like in the Thieves Guild, like properly, and you can accept jobs from... Um, what's some two people called? You in the Thieves Guild? No, not yet. I was going to. I'm on my way to Riffin now. I'm walking it because I have like ten gold left. And I kept going to every single town. I've discovered every single town except for Riffin. I'm walking it through. Just do like, um. Just sell something and then you get no, fifty no, gold. No, I'm walking it so I can get my levels up as well. And I can discover some barrels. All right, okay. Um. There's one barrel, but I've still got to do in the solitude to join the. Uh, what's it? What's the school in Rift? 
Solitude. Oh, uh, solitude? Yeah. You mean in no, Winterhold? No, solitude. The... The college? Yeah, college. Yeah, Winterhold. No, there's another one in solitude. Oh, um, Bard's College. Yeah, that's it. I'm doing, joining that. Right, okay. Um, you actually get quite a lot of money from it. I oh, know, yeah. Um, anyway, go accept jobs from Delvin, and there's another one I can't remember. You have to just join the Thieves Guild to find out. It's been like I've slept since then, so you know. Um, just keep doing those, and you get 200, do two at a time, and then eventually you just get loads of jobs done. It's 250 gold each, apparently, it's unlimited, and it um, eventually you get special jobs, and you get merchants like more fences with better deals. Set up the Thieves Guild, and it also gets you the achievement. Um, one with the shadows. Of the year. <laughs> That's yeah. his favourite award. <laughs> you have to get. Please not watching this. The Thieves Guild back on its feet. Did you watch this? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They get feared and liked again, whatever you want to call it. It's. I know they they don't mean the same thing, but. A lot of people fear them, like in Oblivion, and in like obviously in, in like Riften, because Riften's big for Thieves Guild business because it's there. So um, it's like one of the corruptest. I know, yeah. The, the, the town guards don't do shit. I broke into a house and it, it, it basically saw me, but you can. I didn't know. Yeah. Um, they, only br- they only like arrest you if you break into the yarl's stuff. <laughs> That's about it. Another quick job. If you're in the Dark Brotherhood and you're the listener right at the end, you will obviously know this because um, you're the li- you're gonna be you're gonna know it anyway. But because you're the <laughs> listener, <laughs> but it's good anyway to the tree good to know because join the Dark Brotherhood and just finish it. Basically, talk to the Night Mother like you always have to when you're a listener. And kill the target, you get a thousand gold each for just like a two second job. It's quite good. Also, um, no, I think that's it. Yeah, you got any yeah. other tips? You got any other tips? Um, isn't there the Emperor one where you kill the Emperor? Yeah. The Thieves Guild. Thieves Guild? You mean the Dark, Dark Brotherhood. Brotherhood? Yeah, I'm thinking of Dark Brotherhood. You get Nightingale on. Oh, that's sick, isn't it? Yeah, the Thieves Guild. Really good. It's Peng, I've got it. I'm wearing it. Um, no, you're not. No, I don't mean that. Nah, I mean in the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just God. Yeah. You got any other tips? Yeah, um, when you're facing the emperor, when you got to kill the emperor, yeah, make sure you got your sneaking really high. Why? Because if you want to get past some guards, and you got like really low health. Or you don't want to face them anyway, you just want to get sneak up, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, make sure you got that because his guards are like they really got they're really like high level. Like just use my um, <laughs> videos I'm gonna upload later for the glitches. Well, it's not exactly a glitch. It's just like a weird moment, you know. Like I said last video thing. Yeah, I haven't got any more. You, oh yeah, use fire anything with fire against the emperor guy. Oh yeah, yeah. It's dead funny. Like, die. Ah, he's roasting neck and little fat pig. Oh, it's so funny. If um, I were you, I wouldn't go around exploring Skyrim to quite a high level. Just, like, explore the cities and stuff. Like, take carriages to cities and then just, like, join factions and finish. Don't do what I have been doing. What's that? I'm level, like, four and I'm walking to Riften. And there's so many giants around. Oh. I I was chased. Chased last night by like eight giants and seven mammoths. If you want to get, I ran into a stormcloak camp, mm-hmm. and then a imperial camp. Kill all the imperials and all the stormcloaks, and had all the generals after me. And then a dragon comes out of nowhere. And then uh, another dragon comes out of nowhere. They're all following me. And then what? What I did? I hid in a house, and only the. Uh, only the few sc- the, only the few uh, imperials and stormcloaks came in, so I just slaughtered them, and then ran out. And all the giants and the giants, all the mammoths and all the dragons had despawned except for one, 
one dragon. That was about it, and it was, and I killed it, in, nearly killed it instantly. Really funny, I'm like what? Cool I story, got, right? I got like three levels up just because of that. Really oh. funny, I'm like what? Cool story, bro. Really. Oh, yes. <laughs> Right, I think we're going to finish off this video because I'm running out of tips and we'll do another video anyway because we're going to try and upload a loose today. Yeah. This is 10 minutes after all. I can't upload this till later, so. <laughs> like, sub thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, add this to your favourite show whenever and wherever you can. Alright, guys.